Wow, Arsenal, that was a really nice shot. Wow, Arsenal, you really know this game. <laughs> Welcome to the Danamon crew where we analyze stories and video games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I am your host back from uh, System Shock. Well, it, 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 I don't know. It'll, it'll be July when it comes out. About eventually. Give it it'll, it'll be there. Give it some time. Yes. Uh, so, small things to mention. These are the newest renovations of our graphics here. Uh, feel free to guess what our icons are. Probably the easiest one is Hunter there in purple. Say hello, I Hunter. Like, I like my icon. Everyone give a round of applause for Arsenal in the comments because he made these. And then... Arsenal, these are some really great icons. Thank you. Yeah, they're really hey, You're good. welcome. Then there's uh, Marley over there in light blue. Feel free. Yes. I mean, that's you're probably the toughest one to figure out. No one's gonna get it. It's fine. So, this is... Borderlands. I am not a fan of this series. I am not a fan of the first game, but I like the gameplay. What you guys think? Just need to throw this out there. Like so many times before, we literally had to fight tooth and nail just for Arsenal to let us play this game. Yes. <laughs> it, it was literally just an hour of back and forth for us to finally get something all three of us can play together. But guys, Dead Space 2. But I but guys, Dead Space video remake. Game. But I, but I wanted games. to play with Hunter. <laughs> I watched you guys do Halo and Friend. I want to be included. It's very important that we work together as a team, like a podcast is supposed to be. This is the Denouman <laughs> crew, not the Arsenal show. <laughs> Damn Whoa. right! Called out! Wow. Okay, but for real, when it comes to Borderlands, I love the art design. I love the progression of story. As we all know, the first games usually are not the best with that because they're just getting their bearings and they're setting up the world. But even here, like I, I do enjoy like the world building of Pandora. At the start. I think that's probably the thing we're going to be talking about the most is that this is a lot of world building in this one, but there's not. It's I mean, if you do that, you can have like a simplified story, and then in your second one do all exactly. the, the nice things, yes. you know, like Star Wars used to do. <laughs> um, anyway, <laughs> uh, I do apologize, since this is probably one going to be some of our main topics until we reach, like, episode 10, when we're finally into the sequels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's not a, lot of story, like, not a lot of character reactions, but maybe we can pry something from the dialogue. I, I'm not sure. I mean, our four characters being Mordecai, which I'll be playing... Hunter will be playing Lilith, the Siren, and then Marley will be playing Roland, the Soldier, so maybe we can draw a little bit from, from there. Nobody's playing, playing Brick, so sorry about that. No, we don't have a fourth member on the crew yet. It's hard enough to get these to get these two together for a day. <laughs> oh, pot meat kettle! Excuse you! Yeah, anything else anybody wants to throw in before we begin? Or at least start the intro cutscene because the when you play multiplayer games they didn't they didn't want to do that mm. yeah fun fact about that this version <laughs> of borderlands is all sorts of jank yeah like we thought system we... shock was bad this is fucking jank so yeah with system shock it's just age and time but it works just fine and then borderland this is the the game of the year edition enhanced Try saying that times times fast. Um, has so many graphical issues, and then co-op is just lagged to hell because you've got a voice chat that you can't, or rather, you can't turn it off. You sometimes can turn it off, and then it will turn itself back on. Good luck with that. This is fine. Who does that? Uh, Gearbox 2K. and Pitchford. <laughs> or 2K as well, yeah. Like, don't like don't get me wrong. Like, you would think with a game of, like a game of the year enhanced edition, it should be better than like the original. Uh, it, did the original have this problem? No, nope. I don't think it did. 
I'm also pretty sure the original was meant for just uh, couch play. Maybe. So. Maybe. But still, like, whose idea was that? Who did Probably this? Probably Randy Pitchford. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Name drop. Anyway, so, yeah. That's Borderlands in, in a nutshell or in a border. <laughs> so, border. Land. Let's try to not keep Claptrap over there waiting and let's... Uh, Roll into the intro. Yes, let us begin. So, you want to hear a story, huh? One about treasure hunters. <laughs> Have I got a story for you? Pandora. Pandora. This is our home, but make no mistake. This is not a planet of peace and love. Hey, but where are the blue people at? <laughs> that it's dangerous. Wrong nice game. reference. Would search for something of value here. Then perhaps I am a fool. Yes, you do are. not be fooled by what Pandora appears to be. Fools, it was a legend. Many people tell it. The legend of the vault. My father would always go on about the vault, even with his dying breath. Advanced alien technology, infinite wealth, fame, power, women. So you can understand canceled. by some little kiddos. <laughs> whoa, 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 hold, hold on, hold on now. Become vault hunters. <laughs> well, I have a story you may not believe, but I tell you it is true. The legend of the vault is real, and it is here on Pandora. And they, uh, yeah, let's call it a guardian angel, appear to guide the vault hunters to their prize. The tale begins right here, on Pandora, with the brave Vault Hunters, the Guardian Angel, and most importantly, me. He is important. Yeah, sure. Okay, he's very the, important. Well, when the you most think important about it, character in all Borderlands. <laughs> when you he's think like... about it, he's not that important to the story at all. No, but he's the most important one to listen to every time you get ammo. Yeah, he, I mean, he does, has he done every single intro, I think, narration-wise? Uh, I don't remember. I haven't played uh, two in a long time. Yeah. Uh, pre sequel, no. I think they. I think he did in three, though. Okay. Anyway, Bobby. So that, <laughs> I forgot how sudden that was. <laughs> Good old copyrighted music. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Can that? we go back to the day where we don't have to rely on ad revenue for anything? Earth? Ah, it's a beautiful day. Full of opportunity. I'm kind of curious how like many expressions we're going to see on the faces compared to the second game. I don't know. If any. This is fine. Everything is fine. Hey, yo, no. No, 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 not the face. Not the face. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like his picture taken. He's shy. So, hang on a second. I'm just realizing, like... <laughs> Oh my this god, pretty, please. It's pretty lackluster compared to the intro in the second game. Hey. Bruh. It's Bruh. It's the second game. I know, but man, could you imagine if they were, like, actually doing the, almost the same thing? Like, now it's just strike a pose. I'm, I'm the hero. <laughs> don't be alarmed. I need you to stay calm and don't let on that anyone is talking to you. Start making your way off the this bus. This isn't the normal voices in my you head. You don't have any reason to trust me, but I need you to believe that I'm here to guide you. I'm here to help you find the vault. In a moment, you'll be greeted by a funny little robot. Do everything he says. You'll know what I mean when it happens. Are you sure about that? I, I, I don't believe you. But what if you're a daughter of a villain? <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. hey, 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 hey. I'm Time just, out. I'm just being, I'm just being, I'm just being, wow. get out. I'm just being cautious. <laughs> Don't worry about saying goodbye. I'm sure we'll be doing this all again soon enough. <laughs> oh, it sounds like there's like three more games we gotta deal with. Get off my bus. <laughs> I don't wanna get off the bus. I live here. How do I catch a ride? We'll get there when we get there. <laughs> I hate how abruptly the, like, the game Fire audio Stone. cuts out. I yeah. Get a chance of winning <laughs> just got better. Like you, some help. you may call me by my locally designated name, Claptrap. Before continuing, Did you shoot him? please accept this echo no. communication device and heads up display. I tried. It's free of charge by the Doll Corporation. Oh god, everybody's gone. <laughs> oh god, everyone's disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Daredevil. Oh no! Oh no! Great! 
I detected your echo device. Ah, everyone's back. This Good. way, please. What do you guys think of the art design? Kind of not sure what you call it. Maybe telltale kind of comic book outliney kind of detail. It's almost comic book. A very unique. Um. Yeah, that's basically what it is. It's a comic book design. But I don't know. I don't know really any other game who's done this. So like when you see this style, it's like, oh yeah, that's Borderlands. It's well, not just Borderlands. It's Telltale. Telltale. Yeah. Like they have it all in like their Walking Dead and in their Back to the Future. There's a Back to the Future one. Yeah. I don't know uh, that. I don't know if I've told you, Marley, as many times I've told Arsenal, but I really don't like Telltale games, so I don't pay attention. Oh. Uh, of course, that's kind of that's weird when you think like <laughs> they were gone for like a. <laughs> A couple days and then they came back and I thought you were dead. My death was greatly exaggerated. Am I supposed to be seeing something? There he is. I guess you're supposed to look Thanks for opening her up again. The name said they don't let me cut on folks anymore since I was gonna say, why is his voice like radio format? Is your two distance? Yep. But I was right in front of him. Doc. You're too far. Without the vault is a myth, you'll get yourself. I didn't stutter. What? <laughs> I think it has to be all of us have to be close. Yeah, because he's like in front of me and it's like. Roger, <laughs> Roger. <laughs> like, I'm right in front of you, sir. Oh, great. This game. Hey, guys, look. There's a hand in the ground that's been severed from the body. It looks just like. Dead space. Oh my god. You're dead, Space. You! One more step and it'll be your last! <laughs> you should've seen the look on your face! <laughs> I just watched you shoot Arsenal in the face, Marley. Won't be the first time. Won't be the last. Yep. <laughs> At least we agree on something. At least you do agree on that note. <laughs> For once. <laughs> Woo! I heard that blast Don't hit the all the way over here! Bam! <laughs> Time to give nine toes a piece of that! Woo! I'm updating. <laughs> Good job, Hunter. <laughs> what is he updating? No, no. Oh god, okay, this pistol's pink, never mind, it's poopy. Get out of my face. Really gonna deny stats because it's fucking pink? Yes. Noob. What a guy. I want you to know I jumped on your heads. And like actually you bounced. The wrong dog. Ah yeah. His thing was clipping through his Pants. I don't know what to make of that. Hey, special ability time. Which means Marley will have a turret and I'll have a... A bird. Bird. <laughs> and then, Hunter, you apparently turn into... Health. The, God. Oh, health? Okay. <laughs> she I, wanted to correct me on <laughs> I get... I turned invisible. That was the first step on your journey. You must listen. Who I am is not important. Right now. The first thing you must know, the vault is real. People will mislead you. They will try to use you. You cannot be swayed in your purpose. The vault is here, and we will find it. This world is full of dangers. Steal yourself and go. I'll be watching. Parkour! Parkour! <laughs> Who's perfected their Skyrim mountain climbing recently? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bandit Thug. Oh, bye, Mr. Bandit Thug. <laughs> Man, it's gonna be a good day. I'm gonna raid a village and I'm gonna just get all these rewards. <laughs> you know, I'm really be... happy you got the heal turret. <laughs> you are a medic. <laughs> I what? <laughs> Just cut out. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Oh shit. <laughs> Here, kill this one. Ah! <laughs> Come on, Marley! I feel better already. Goodness. Why is everything hostile? Why can't we go somewhere nice? It's not interesting when it's nice. Next time I get to say where the bus goes. <laughs> Where'd you find that? Oh my god. Oh, you Jimmy. Did, I didn't even get to read it! It's a shotgun. <laughs> it's all it's you a terrible know. shotgun. <laughs> it's a terrible shotgun, but it's purple. Hey, uh, Marley, how's your health doing there? Uh, it could be better. I'm just waiting for my turn to reset TBI, TBH. <laughs> Are you on 1 HP? I'm on 5 health. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's do a duel. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> Your life is mine. <laughs> oh my god. Well, what color do we want it to be? What's the color that we consider the Danemon crew? Orange? Yeah, orange is pretty close. Okay, well, that this one's yours. I should be able to get a second one. Why would you want a second one? Because there's only two seats. Well, there are only two seats, really? Yeah. Are oh, you gonna make well, me Hunter, drive? I guess you're driving. You helping him. This is the 76th day. I was woken up, hoping I was having a reoccurring nightmare. We spent more than 36 hours earlier today relocating our campsite closer to our dig site, only to be ambushed by local wildlife that's hungry coming out of hibernation. Half of my staff was eaten alive or killed by skags. I survived by hiding under a colleague of mine who was being devoured on top of me. His name was Carl. My... Emotions are deadened, and I grieve for none of them. In point of fact, the only emotion I felt was that of joy. I felt joy because his chair was always more comfortable than mine. I took his chair, and then I noticed the emissive glow on the rocks at the dig site. So some people could take that uh, part where she's talking about, hey, I felt joy because I just took his chair. That, and somebody would say, like, oh, that was a joke. Well, you could also argue that she's just trying to find some consolation after literally sitting under a friend being devoured by something. Day 119. I sat in the shower in tears for just under an hour. This is interesting, considering we haven't had water for days. I equate my ever-decreasing sanity with that of the population of my dig site. With the investigation of the symbols and glowing patterns of the site, we finally unearthed arguably certifiable proof of the existence of alien life having been here on Pandora. But this celebration was lonely, as I only have two colleagues left. And I'm not too fond of the fat girl, Shimei. I've been told that scientific discovery requires sacrifice, but I never understood what they meant until now. You know, like, referring back to what you were saying, it, like, her being happy about the chair thing was definitely just her way of coping with the grief. Yeah, it's it's deflection. It, who who realized that we here on the Day New Monkey was going to go over psychology? Day 172. The fat girl, Shimei, was crushed under an alien ruin that collapsed today. She didn't die right away and begged me to put her out of her misery as she choked on various fluids and bile. I hesitated because she was the last one alive that wasn't me. As she was choking and coughing and dying, I tried to enjoy the interaction, which I imagined to be a conversation, as I knew it was the last I would have for a while. I finally got around to smothering her so that I could continue my research. I could tell that she regretted the decision. The skags have been waiting for this meal for a while. They will not go hungry tonight. Oh god. Are we keeping score here? Oh Jesus, what is this ragdoll doing?
I have to remember I have to focus on blowing you guys up, not the enemy. You're not a tanky boy. I am not tanky boy. I am squishy, squishy soldier. You are. Don't worry, I'm sure you'll survive for the sequel. Hey. Hey, fuck off. That's rude. <laughs> that is fucking rude, mister. <laughs> if it's not an SMG, I don't want it. I got a new rifle. What the heck is that? That's supposed to be like that? What? What? Is this not obnoxiously bright to anyone? That light? Yeah, I mean a little bit. Yeah, it's. I think it's supposed to be like this one that's broken, but... This one's messed up. Yeah, I don't think these are supposed to do that, because if you look at this one, you can see the bed. Like, the, the box in it. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think they're supposed to do that. Into the light. I mean, look, I, I don't. I wonder what the boss arena is, guys. Yeah, what? it's a very curious situation. Let's go into this dance floor. I sure hope nothing appears here. Oh, hey. Oh man. I believe in you. I mean, Sledge probably has like a giant. Well, shit! Look at that. Well. You put Speaking that rocket launcher down right now. Uh. It's come to our attention that you've been at war with elements of the local population. And you've now been contracted to assassinate one of their leaders. This type of unsanctioned mercenary activity undermines the stability of the region. You have been warned. These continued insurgent activities will not be tolerated. Abandon this futile pursuit and turn yourself in. While you still what a thrilling character. Who the hell is that? Where'd she come from? So she just came out of nowhere. He's like, you're doing a bad thing. Stop it. I feel like this game would benefit heavily if they used the, uh... The slide thing from Titanfall. You know, the crouch slide. Yes. Uh, you know, I remember a long time ago that I thought there was something like that. But it's just my imagination. I remember in Borderlands 2 there was some sort of crash slide, but I guess that's not the case. I don't remember if there was one. I don't either. It's been a long time since I've played Borderlands 2. I mean, it sounds like something because of all the like the action is like heavily improved in that game. And it's, that's just the benefit of the sequel, that most things in it are better than the first one. Yeah. <laughs> the, to be, uh, let's be honest, the NPCs feel more alive in 2. I've never felt more like I was talking to an NPC until I played this game. The Legend of Moen Marley. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, hold up. Hold up. This my, that's my cousin. I didn't know you had a cousin. Rumors speak of Moen Marley, two of the toughest skags to ever wa- Aw, oh, you're a skag, I'm sorry. Thank you. From family of skags, Marley. <laughs> I guess. Are, are we are we building Denouement lore now? He was once a skag, and then once he played his favorite video game, he became a man. He became human. <laughs> Everything you've faced up until now has been simple. You're about to face a real challenge in Sledge. Do not underestimate him. Killing Sledge's men makes Sledge angry. Ah! Hey, oh, hey, it's that guy! You guys yes. aren't friends? You guys are not friends. Hey, look, where does shield go? You have to whittle down his shields, Hunter. What shield? Oh, he's really interested in your turret. Please don't shoot me. Oh. Ah. Sorry. It bounced. No. Ah. No. 
Actually, why don't I use this? Corporation Crimson Lance D Company 3rd Starborn Brigade. I have just been informed that you have arrived on Pandora in search of the vault, and within minutes have started killing the locals and causing a disturbance. This planet is under the authority of the Atlas Corporation, and any Iridian artifacts found here are Atlas property. Possession of such property carries a stiff penalty. I invite you to turn yourself in at once to the nearest Lance outpost and surrender any information or artifacts in your possession. Consider this your one and only warning. <laughs> You're funny. So, you think the vault is real, eh? Hmm. Everyone is talking about it. This is the biggest thing that's happened here in a long time. Think of the visitors we will have. Listen, if you find it, what's inside could be worth a fortune. But only if you get the right partner to help you sell it. So, partners? I guess so, because the game's not going to give me the choice. Right? Marcus Kincaid. I guess he is going to be, big, be being able to be the one of the, the biggest players in finding the vault. Just like he said in the introduction. Mm. Maybe. Downloading and analyzing your DNA record. Human status confirmed! Access to the doll headland is granted. Please stand by while I activate the gate for you. And yes, you are now free to enter the doll headland. Please enjoy your relaxing stay. Interesting fact, based on your current stress patterns, I calculate a 94.3% chance that you will encounter an unfortunate death experience. It's already happened. Thanks, I guess.